time now for another look at business news. We're here with Mike Apple now at 680. Mike. Yeah, good morning, Tammy. We're off to the races already on the markets this morning. More signs that uh, uh, the records that we've seen on Wall Street set in every other trading day so far this year will continue in the early Monday activity. That's not to say that uh, the markets don't have a lot to worry about right now. You've got North Korea. You've got the potential that the U.S. Central Bank this week on Wednesday is going to start signaling uh, more interest rate hikes potentially or a tightening of monetary policy at least. So, you know, that whole cycle is uh, slowly coming to an end, but stocks keep on going up. Earnings have been pretty good. The Toronto stock market's coming off its best weekly performance in seven months. It was up in four or five trading days last week, a gain of 1.3 percent, but still down below break even for the year. Uh, we also have this week some big signals coming out on Canadian interest rate uh, speculation, uh, retail sales and inflation data. Of course, the Bank of Canada has raised interest rates twice this year. Will they go a third time? Could depend on the numbers if the economy continues to show strength. What does that mean for the housing market, which has shown uh, signs of slowing down most recently here in the GTA? A lot of uh, answers uh, to these questions could be by week's end. Uh, General Motors dealing with a strike at one of its most important plants in its global production lineup. The Cami Automotive Facility uh, in Ingersoll, Ontario, was uh, has been shut down by strike activity by uh, 2,800 uh, members of Unifor. They are looking for job security and future investment in that plant after General Motors recently shifted some of the production of the uh, GMC terrain to Mexico. But the Chevy Equinox is one of the top sellers at uh, uh, globally for GM's lineup, and it is built specifically at that operation just uh, to the east of London. We'll send it back to the studio. All right. Thanks very much.